right, chapter 10, bricks and mortar. Now I'm playing against Max finally. What the, what the fuck? Why am I on top of a fucking tree? Laura! Be careful, dude. Silas is gonna come and freaking tickle your buns. Blood. How the hell am I gonna get down? Asked an answer. There are some breathe. <sighs> Seriously. Well, there shouldn't be any more werewolves, right? The only ones that are left are Caleb and Silas. Those two. She must have come back. You're wearing it? What the heck is happening? Talking underwater. Okay. This better have a great fucking ending. I'm trying. I already lost Jacob, so it might not. So who's down in the basement? It's gotta be Nick, right? Got done being a werewolf, and now you're either dead or a werewolf again. What the hell? Thanks. So stay or swim to shore. Either live or die. Help me. Awesome choices. I'm not even mad about that one. What the hell? That one's just ridiculous. There was no smash, mash A, nothing. Okay. Well, can't get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, we're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here. And they're coming back the first chance they get. Mm. Great news. Okay. All right. We gotta get a vantage point. Yeah, okay with that. That shy. Okay. Vantage point going up the steps. How's he gonna be like lead the way and then go for me? Dude, can I go up the steps? 
Wait, so so did did Ryan get healed all the way if he killed um, Chris before he could even start filming like the symptoms? Was it? Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what? You're like Mr. H's brother, I guess. Who? The big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right, right. Maybe like his... Yeah, I guess it would be his brother. How long has this guy been here? A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> Prepare for attack. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. stronger. We're here to leave Not a fan, to be honest. Her life, we're proud to That's say. Sick. Shout it straight and shout it loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words. <sighs> so they here? Is there, there's a one or two. I know there's only two left. Showtime, motherfuckers. I guess. Um. What is going on out there? Should we go find the others? Silence. No! We're safer in here and it's nearly morning. What the? Places. You're not gonna like try to. What's happening? You're gonna make some moves? Make some moves! What are you hiding behind? Wait. So you can shoot him! He's right there! Shoot him! Have the gun ready. Aimed. Have it ready up and ready. Don't drop it on the ground. Do some jump jacks. No, get it ready, man. Let's go. Stay in the room, guys. Don't worry about it's it. It's Caitlin. Holy shit. Well, we gotta let her in. Well, we can't. The office door's locked from the outside. Well, there must be something we can well, do. Yeah, but what? <laughs> what are you doing? Silver shells. If we can time it right, we can give them to her if she passes. If she passes. What? Beam, window, beam, beam, window. Window. Good terrain for me. I'm glad he's letting me get a little head start before he comes out, though. Yeah. 
He's really just taking his time, letting me get get a view of my surroundings. <laughs> run, hide, run, hide. Um, run, because that's. <laughs> Silver shells. They have silver shells. They have silver shells. We need silver shells to kill this thing. Investigate. It's silver. Hey, I'm here. Load it before you make a move. Make sure you're ready, pumped up. It's fine. Turn around. Let me shoot you right in the mouth. He's dead though because the other other person the girl changed back immediately and he's not changing back so I don't know. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. You sure? It didn't change. I don't know who that is. So don't know who that is. Who's in a car? Oh, probably right, yeah. So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy mm -hmm. which i've just put together is silas oh shit it's a long story no it's not there was a fire silas the wolf boy escaped bit a bunch of your family you failed to stop him burn what happened in the past doesn't matter right now Mm -hmm. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. <sighs> so how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? There he is! Oh god, I didn't see him the last second. Oh. You're not that sorry, are you? Come on now. What? Grab gun, take will, grab gun, take will, grab gun. Travis! Travis, get it together, Don't come on! Don't fling her through the windshield. Steer the car. Go ahead. I got it. I got it. I got it. Just get down. Where's Ryan? He got freaking head smashed. <laughs> there you are. Ouch. 
Where did he go? He can't have just disappeared. He's got to be nearby. Tell me you ran over him and he just got up. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Brian, it's probably time to wake up. We made it. We're home now. Come on. I'm not carrying you inside. Yep, there you go. Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. Okay. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? What? Right in the exact same spot? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Hell yeah. Let's fucking do this. Go team. Shh. <laughs> yeah. has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Voris. Silas's mother. I think. Who was she? Who was she? Fortune she had a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? It was one of you guys. Really? Wasn't it? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Mm -hmm. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. Yeah. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. K 
Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. <sighs> Any sign? Getting anxious. Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Wait, this, this is with the side, the side, uh, um, harem scarum was that? Ryan, what are you doing? You're doing some very non, non nigga shit, man. Ryan? Close. We must be close. Did you both see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Sam. Mm. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Is that him right there? No, I hear him. I hear him though. Jesus Christ. My God. Just shoot him. Just get rid of it. No, he's he's terrorizing. What's wrong? She's getting to your head. What are you waiting for? Perfect timing. Shoot the stupid girl! He's gone. Shoot him. Shoot him. That's what we came here to do. That's what we came here to do. Are you sure about this? Shoot. You do right. Please, let's just let's just go before we we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. So. So, was that the right thing to do, or no? She's gonna be, she's gonna be upset. Probably. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. I don't know who to trust anymore. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. Sorry. I've been with you all night, and I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. Is 
Is it too late to say my bad? Like... It's morning time now? Alright, who else did I get killed? I was doing so good up until the last chapter. Bobby Hackett alive. Uninjured Bobby was able to fend off an attack from Chris, his brother, in world form. Jedediah Hackett alive. Thanks to Bobby fending off world Chris, Jed survived the attack at Hackett House. Chris deceased. Chris was killed when his favorite counselor, Ryan, shot him with silver. Constance deceased. Laura shot Constance face off in a struggle for the gun. Jacob. Uh, Jacob was killed by the world. Nick, after Ryan originally abandoned him. Kaylee, Chris, Hackett's daughter. Kaylee was shot and killed by Laura. We must take her for World of Chris. Nick. Nick survived the night. Another killed Silas. Nick's World of Curse was lifted. Max deceased. Max went back to the mainland where a hungry Caleb was waiting for him. Abigail made it to the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Alive. Emma alive. Emma survived the night in the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Dylan alive. Dylan survived the night by taking refuge from Caleb in the kitchen. Caitlin survived the night by killing Caleb, curing all of those infected by his lineage. Caleb deceased. Caitlin shot Caleb dead using the silver shells passed to her by Emma and Abigail. Travis. Travis survived the encounter with Silas and finally saw an end to the curse that had haunted his family for six years. Ryan was cursed of the world of infection when he shot, uh, minus five, da da da. Uh, Laura. Laura killed Silas with a silver shell, curing every infected person who survived the night. Silas, yep, dog boy from his nest, the curse was broken. I wonder if there's a way to save every single person. I feel like some people had to die. All right, you guys. I'm gonna end the video right here. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end my my face cam. I'm gonna keep letting it play until it's over, in case you guys wanna listen to it. Um, and I'll, I'm also gonna listen to it. I just don't wanna sit here and look stupid on the screen. Um, but yeah, this is a, an amazing game. I loved it. I'm really sad that it's over already. Um, very beautiful game. Loved it. Jacob, of course, I was dumb with the stupid electrical gates and got Jacob murdered. <sighs> and Max gave me two options, which swim to shore or stay, which was live or die. Um, I guess I, I, I'm gonna have to research. I'm gonna watch other people's let's plays and see how they go about it. If they save everybody or what. I, I thought nobody could die at first. I was like, dang, I'm not killing nobody, but. I started, it all came rushing in at the end. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this whole series. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Let me know what you want me to play next. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bodies recovered in summer camp murder mystery. What do you make of that, Anton? Bad journalism? Murder mystery? Isn't that just an unsolved murder? Yes, I, I suppose that is what most journalists would say, but perhaps the journalists of North Kill share my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be much competition in North Kill, probably not getting the best writers there. Okay, can we at least start the podcast before you completely resign yourself to cynicism? I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton? Introductions first.
We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you... Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> Okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really, there's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? Yeah. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras, photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found? I would think that maybe they went there and they dropped their camera. Okay, Anton, let me ask you real quick. What makes you drop your camera? Uh, tripping over a root, um, being jostled, uh... In uneven uh, row of cobblestones. What about being murdered? If you dropped your phone, you wouldn't go missing. Where are they now? I don't know. People get lost in the woods all the time. There's like hundreds of people a year. They could be anywhere. That's not all. No? Mm -mm. I'm about to lay a little something else on you. My sources also tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Really? Then, okay, well then, shouldn't this be public knowledge? Why aren't the Hackett's prime suspects? Exactly my point. Maybe they would be if anyone knew where they were. Is it all just a big cover-up operation? Yeah, that's where it falls apart a bit, in my opinion. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, 
Apparently, when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest, a lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Bizarre yet bona fide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're gonna make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma, allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen cause of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read? As the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen. Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended, for now. So, I don't think that's gonna be a problem for this next one. Oh god, why? Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter! And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's insane! What? Signed by Travis Hackett. Hey, we're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Fucked up that these guys know who we are. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please, just... Say what you're gonna say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't- I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay, so what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo taken by one of the counselors, Emma Mountebank, downloaded from her phone. Oh my God, is that real? This is what we're here to discuss. It looks shopped. I mean, doesn't it? I don't think so. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. What the hell is that? Bizarre, 
yet bona fide. What the hell happened? More than what we're being told. Man. There's something else, too. Yeah? Look what happens when I put it through a negative filter. What is that? It's her! The Hag of Hackett's Quarry! See? Full circle! I mean, that could be anything, dude. It barely even looks like a person. What's that thing where your mind makes you see faces and shit? I can't believe you're still questioning this. What do you want me to say? Ultimately, unless I experience something myself, the most likely reasoning is that it's fabricated. Okay, well, could this be fabricated? Claw marks in a wall? Literally, yes. So this, to me, isn't overtly supernatural, but it'd be unfair not to discuss it. Okay, I mean, so far I wouldn't describe any of it as overtly supernatural, but sure, let's do this. Claw marks! Wow, you're right. That is underwhelming. But I'm kind of interested, because whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. Grace, it's highly likely this is all just an elaborate prank. True, but if I treated everything like that, I wouldn't have a job. Eh, fair point, I guess. Okay, you know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh my god. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh my god, I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you. You're... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No! So what now? Well, we gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um... Who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. <laughs>